Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm going to show you the car sprite in the interactive store display project that I created. Now, when you first open up the sprite, you might look at all this code and be like, oh, wow, that's a lot. What's going on here? Well, this video hopes to make it a little bit easier to understand what's going on. So let me run this code boop, and show you what's happening. So first thing it's doing is resetting and waiting. So if we scroll down, and we look at this block. So reset, it's setting the car size. It's telling it to go all the way off the screen, negative 400, it's like way over here, and hiding it. Now, right now it's waiting between 10 and 20 seconds. Uh, just for the sake of this video, I want to wait only two seconds, so that way it's gonna keep looping this over and over. And it'll do that in a moment. Okay, once it finishes resetting and waiting, it's using a broadcast cars, change color and costume. So let me scroll down here. Okay, so change color and costume. So it's making the, the car show. It's setting it to a random color, and then it's switching to a random costume. In this case, there are three different um, car costumes that we switch between. So that way it doesn't look like it's the same uh, person driving uh, across the screen over and over. It could be a little weird if they're just driving in circles. Okay, so this next chunk of code. If pick random, one to 10 equals one, then broadcast cars hydraulics. Okay, so this top part is basically giving it one in 10 chance, uh, or a 10% uh, chance to be able to do the car's hydraulics. Okay, so let's scroll down and see what that does. So the car hydraulics, when you run this code, it makes it so that it turns up, so it goes up this way, and then it turns down, so it goes down that way to make it look like the car has hydraulics, like that. Okay, so the next part of code, if we scroll up, is it says move and make music. So they move and make music chunk of code. It's doing a few different things. So it's first setting our volume to zero. So it's making it quiet. Then it, if it's one in three, it's going to pick a random sound between eight and nine. So that means that it will play either a car passing or a motorcycle uh, passing sound. Kind of like you hear right now. And it will for sure pick a sound between one and seven. And one and seven is just different uh, music. So that way every single driver is listening to music, one of seven songs, but only some of the drivers make uh, one of the car sounds. Okay, so the next chunk of code in here, our repeat 100 and repeat 100. What this is doing is it's changing our volume by one. So it's making it get louder and louder all the way up to 100. And then it makes it get softer and softer all the way down to zero as it goes across the screen. So this is kind of like the Doppler effect. So it's getting loud, and then it gets softer again as it goes across the screen. So that's what I was doing with this code. Otherwise, it's just simply moving 2.5 across the screen like it um, you see it doing right now. Okay. The last thing that we have in this code is the stop all sounds. So this just makes sure that if there's any music playing, it just stops it once it gets to the end. Okay, now you might be looking at this code and going, okay, well, why did you make your own blocks but then use broadcast blocks at the same time? The reason why is because the, when you make your own block using one of these, it, um, it doesn't move to the next block until it finishes this. So if you wanna make it so that code runs at the exact same time or in parallel, then uh, you can use a broadcast block. Just make sure you don't use the broadcast and wait version. So see how there's two different versions right here? Close that. This one doesn't say anything. This one says and wait at the end. Don't use the and wait. So the reason why is because I want the car to change color and costume and do the hydraulics at the same time as the move and make music. Make sense? So if you want something to occur at the same time, use this broadcast. Otherwise, if you want to occur sequentially, so do this one block or this one function, then move the next one, you can just use make your own block. Okay, so that was a lot, I know, uh, but uh, you can always rewind this video and be like, okay, I really don't understand this section and just check out the parts that um, you have questions about. In addition, in my project, there are comments on all these that further explain what's going on with each one of these chunks of code in this particular sprite. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. 
And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.